Hello everyone, my name is Samantha, I am with On The Clock, and today I'm going to be going over the biometric fingerprint reader option. Some things to note with our program, the compatible fingerprint reader is a URU 4500 digital persona. It is only compatible with Windows computers, so our software will only work with a Windows computer. You can download the software right from our website. If you go to Help Directory, type in Software Downloads, and then you would just click Software Downloads, and in here you can actually download the fingerprint software. You will want to purchase your URU 4500 digital persona from a third party. We do not sell it. We can send you those links if you are interested. This is a premium feature, so it is an additional 50 cents per employee who would be using the fingerprint reader. To install the software, you will want to be logged in as the administrator of your PC, not your on the clock account, but your PC. So you would just go ahead and click fingerprint reader software and it would start to install. And then you'll be walked through a wizard tool to help get you set up. So you would just click this and it'll start to download. And then you can just go to more info and run the program and it'll walk you through the wizard tool. Now I do already have it installed on my computer and once it is installed you will have an on the clock OTC finger punch dot exe icon appear. So I'm going to go ahead and click my icon and open it up and what you'll notice is this blue box up here that says place finger on reader. Now when it first opens you're going to be prompted to set up your account key and you can find your account key in your on the clock account underneath settings, time clock settings, basic settings. And what you would do is you would just copy this account key number right over into account key on the fingerprint reader. We have a couple options inside the reader for setup, browser internal and external. So internal is going to just open you up right into the punch in page. External is going to open up a separate web browsing tab. So it's just a personal preference here. And then once the account key is set up, it's going to be able to pull your employees into your fingerprint reader. So you'll see I have mine listed. So I just click on one of my employees and it brings up this box. Right now I have zero fingerprints on file. So if I go ahead and I click add fingerprint, it's gonna tell me to place employee finger on the fingerprint pad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and it tells me success. We do recommend two fingerprints, one from each hand, just in case. So we'll go ahead and click add fingerprint and I will add another one. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on fingerprint sign on, click done. And then you just continue that process for the rest of your employees. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit done. I'm going to exit out because I'm done. Notice that the blue box remains. It says place finger on reader. If I ever wanna come back in and change any settings on the reader, the password's gonna be your password for your admin uh, on the clock account. So it logs you in. And that would just be if you needed to add fingerprints to an employee. You're not going to add employees on the fingerprint reader software itself. If you have a new employee, you're going to come to your employees, view full employee list, add your employee in on the clock first, and then you would add their fingerprint later into the fingerprint reader. Now you'll notice place finger on reader. So I'm going to go ahead and place my finger and it tells me with 100% accuracy I was found. And here is what came up. So this is internal. Notice how it just brings me in where I'm able to punch in. And then just to give you an idea, I'm going to change my settings. And I'm going to flip this to external just so that you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and place my finger on the reader again. Member was found. And now you'll see it brings me into a web page. So it opens up a browser. And then just to show you that again, I'm going to change the settings one more time. back to internal and I'm going to place my finger on the reader and you'll notice that that browser tab doesn't appear. And of course once your employee does make that punch in and out it's going to appear right in your time cards as it would any other way. Now you are able to lock down an employee to not be able to clock in and out anywhere else except with the fingerprint reader. And this is going to be under employees and then selecting an employee's name. In your general tab you can go ahead and turn off allow clock in and out so that an employee's not able to see the clock in and out functionality if they were to know their username and password to log in on like the website or on their app. The clock in and out feature is going to be disabled and they won't see it. And the only way that they'll be able to punch in and out is with the fingerprint reader. So that's just an extra security measure. And those are the basics of the on the clock fingerprint reader. Just a reminder, it only works with Windows based PCs. 
You do have to have a URU 4500 digital persona, and if you are interested in purchasing the digital persona, we can definitely get you those links. If you have any additional questions, you can reach out. We hope you have a wonderful day.